We start today at four with the largest corruption scandal in state history. The federal racketeering and conspiracy trial of former Ohio Speaker of the House Larry Householder began today. Now he, along with Matt Borges, was, who was a lobbyist and former chair of the Ohio Republican Party, are accused of taking part in a scandal that involves $61 million in bribes from First Energy in exchange for being certain to pass the $1.3 billion bailout for its two failing nuclear plants. Our legal analyst, Stephanie Haney, is here now. Stephanie, good afternoon to you. I know you've been following this very closely. What were the highlights in day one? Sure, yeah, we really got things going today with the opening arguments in the trial, and we heard from Larry Householder for the first time in a long time. Now, he's facing as much as 20 years in prison if convicted, but you would not know it based on how he was acting today. He seemed almost giddy, is how it was described, telling reporters that it's been killing him, that he couldn't talk to the media about his side of the case, and he called today Redemption Day. Now, in those opening arguments, the prosecution set up that they'll try to prove that Householder regularly called on First Energy to send him money in return for helping pass House Bill 6, which bailed out their nuclear power plants. Now, we can expect to hear as well from two men who already pleaded guilty in this case, lobbyist Juan Suspedes and Householder's longtime staffer, Jeffrey Longstreth. They're also going to call lawmakers who they say were pressured to vote for Householder when he ran for House Speaker and candidates who ran against people that Householder supported in elections, people who the government says were also paid with bribe money. Now, Householder's defense team told the jury that they'll see that the government got it wrong here, that there's no evidence of any agreement that Householder would receive money from First Energy to advance legislation, and also, Jay and Christy, that Householder was actually never bribed. Okay, hmm. so I, I know you mentioned it before, but I just want to get some clarity wrapped around it. It's Rarely would you see a defendant on the stand. Do we have any indication he wants to or will take it? It is certainly rare, and he actually said that he would like to take the stand, but he is leaving the final say on that up to his attorneys. We'll have some time for them to decide. The trial is expected to last six weeks. This is going wow. to be an ongoing wow. situation. Yeah, a lot of interest in this case. Mm -hmm. Stephanie Haney, thank you. We appreciate it.